as much as the signs appear to be pointing to a deal, uh, is it going to be meaningful enough really for, uh, for investors to, to, to accept? Well, I'm not sure it's a market mover, really, other than specifically on, on uh, uh, British assets, you know, uh, primarily the currency. Uh, I think so much as we said, this saga has been going on for almost five years now. Um, no, I, I, I think a deal is probably more likely than no deal because it's obviously in the interest of both parties. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be a huge market mover. Uh, how does the opportunity in UK assets then, perhaps in equities or, or guilds, compare to what you're seeing in continental Europe? Uh, what is the conversation shaping up to be like with clients as you prepare for 2021? Look, uh, for our pound-based clients, we've benefited from a massive uh, tailwind in the last five years of a relentlessly declining uh, uh, sterling. And the question we ask ourselves, in when is the time to rebalance portfolio slightly more inwards uh, domestically? Um, obviously, um, uh, UK equities are a mix of more domestically oriented mid and small caps, and we've increased that allocation recently as well. Um, and, and you have that big cap index, which is mostly populated by global stocks with uh, materials uh, commodity bias. Uh, so the, the, the large cap market is really driven by the global cycle, and, and you have to dig deeper into lower uh, market cap bands to uh, find exposure to the, the British economy. Obviously, th there is value uh, in the asset class, uh, but, but of course, you need the catalyst, you need the deal. And, and I think probably the, 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 the underperformance, structural uh, underperformance of uh, British assets by then uh, will come to an end. Uh, if we also have a developing story around the U.S. Treasury Department designating Switzerland as a currency manipulator, uh, even though there are no immediate policy actions from the United States off the back of that, it, it still represents a requirement to investigate it further. Could this become a bit of a difficult struggle for, for some of your clients based in, in Switzerland to, 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 to have certainty around? Look, I, I, I think the Swiss francs, under any circumstances, is not a currency you want to consider shorting. Uh, it has powerful fundamentals, uh, and therefore, gravity for the Swiss francs is pushing it upward. Uh, when it comes to politics, you know, and, and yesterday's announcement, which was not totally unexpected, I would argue, in a way, it helps the, the case of the Swiss national banks to uh, continue to act prudently and, and, and ensure that the Swiss francs appreciate, but in an orderly manner. The last thing, a uh, small open economy, um, quite deregulated compared to many of its trading partners, uh, uh, can afford is huge currency volatility. Uh, and, and therefore, I think the policy is extremely appropriate. Uh, that policy has required uh, recurring interventions, um, uh, hopefully uh, with uh, a more fiscal cohesion in the euro area. Uh, the euro uh, uh, yeah. breakup risk premium has declined and uh, necessitating uh, a fewer intervention from the, the Swiss counterpart. But you need to understand that the Swiss okay. National Bank has also its uh, fair share of criticism uh, domestically on, on this expansion of the balance sheet. And actually, I think that the, the, sure. the American uh, news helps uh, its cause, actually. Uh, Eve, just to get some closing thoughts for the new year, I mean, in your research, you make the argument that dollar debasement might have room to run. And because other central banks are doing similar things, it's not against other currencies, but where you get that kind of reflection is going to be in things like equities. We talked about that, but you also see an opportunity in gold and in property, correct? Yeah, actually, real assets in general. Uh, we, we would uh, feature equities at the top of the list, uh, assets the dollar is being debased against. Um, uh, but, but it's not a, a, a debasement against all the paper currency, because as you pointed out, uh, every major country, with the exception of China, is uh, 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 um, practicing non-orthodox uh, macroeconomic policies. 
Uh, austerity has been uh, thrown in the dustbin as a result of the COVID pandemic and the lockdowns of the economy. And I, and I think it is, a, it is a progress because austerity uh, has led us to where we are with excessive reliance on monetary policy.